Hey guys, so today we're going to be doing a animal info video about what green, northern green frogs eat. Now, to kind of get an idea of what northern green frogs are, you'd only, like, I found mine, I didn't like buy it, I'm sure they are in the pet trade, um, but I've never really seen them. I've seen like green tree frogs and stuff like that, but I'm not really sure about northern green frogs. So they're from like more eastern North America, and I was going to say like northern, well, northeast um, North America, but they don't go like all the way up, which makes sense because it's probably pretty cold up there. Anyway, um, so mine's back in my tank back there and they're not like there's kind of three ways that I'd say like what kind of frog so there's like fully aquatic then there's like semi aquatic and then there's like land frogs now land frogs um aren't really like toads but like they they you wouldn't find them in the water you could find them in like your yard or something but I mean they were obviously tadpoles once so everything they all came from the water so, um, when it comes to what they eat, they basically eat what, like, what any small frog would eat. Well, not like, not small, small, not like a dart, or not like a dart frog or an arrow frog, but like, um, what any, like, small amphibian or reptile, well, relatively small, like a gnolls or, um, like small skinks and stuff like that. Basically anything that moves. These will eat, um, like, fish if they're given the opportunity, um, even small snakes. But what you're probably going to want to be feeding it is crickets. What I feed mine is worms. I'll feed it other stuff like um, darkling beetles, which are mealworm. Well, you can feed it mealworms. Um, like, once the mealworm turns into a beetle, I've fed it one of those before. And, um, again worms, anything that moves, like beetles, crickets, grasshoppers, anything like that. The feeding's real simple. Now, the only reason I really keep mine is because I can feed it worms. Most things, like anoles, I don't think would really eat worms, or even um, mealworms, but, like, you can just go outside and find them. I got mine, from, again, I got it from, um, like, a creek, and... I'd say these frogs are semi-aquatic, and that's why I have it in a uh, fish tank, but it has a log and stuff. Um, it has a log and stuff to sit on, and it really doesn't swim very much, but I bet it does at nighttime. It doesn't really like how it's in a tank, but uh, yeah, so now I'm going to show you it, and I'm going to kind of show you how to identify it, because they're often um, mistaken for bullfrogs a lot because they look very similar but there's a very distinct feature on them that you can tell the difference okay so i'm going to use this pencil yeah let's see so there's a line right on the back of the ear here wait let's see i'm going to try to show you this with actually actually having to touch the frog so right about behind their eye and on top of their ear, there's a line that goes down their back. Now there's two of them, one on each side, like one line on each side, and it goes back behind the ear, and it'll get bigger. Well, like obviously as they get bigger, it'll get bigger too, so it'll be easier to recognize one if it's bigger. So, um, yeah, it's pretty obvious. That's how I figured out mine's a northern green frog. I was hoping it was a bullfrog when I caught it, but it wasn't. Um, I don't know if you'd be able to see it any clearer. Let's see. I'm trying to see if it'll focus through. Nope, but it's really cool. Um, now I don't feel like... I'm not exactly sure if, um... Well, they're, they're quite common, so I'm sure it's not illegal to have them or, like, keep them or anything. But I'm gonna show you me feeding them a worm now. Okay, so I've already fed it today. So it not, might not be super wanting to eat and I know I've fed it in other videos but for the sake of this being a feeding video kind of I'll feed it now so I take the worm and I drop it through these things no one will go right through this is hard to do one-handed especially when the worm's not cooperating 
good. See, I'll just put it right there and hope that it goes through on its own. Looks like it. Okay. So it might jump and get it, which would be awesome, or it'll just let it drop and get it. Um, again, anything that moves, it's going to see and want to get. It's tried to attack my fish before because they've came up right on that rock right there where the um, worm is now. Now, once the worm starts moving again, it'll go right at it. And look at that. Now, feeding is probably the most fun part because these are mainly like nocturnal, I think. So they do most of their stuff at nighttime and happens to be that I'm not awake at nighttime. <laughs> So they don't I don't really see it do much except get down and get up to eat food. But feeding it is very much fun. So I would recommend these frogs. I think they're super cool. Hope this video was helpful if you have one. And I hope, yeah, I hope you learned different stuff about it. And next week I'll be doing a video on lighting. No, I'll be doing a video on housing for one of these frogs. So, if you like this video, like it down below. If you have any comments or concerns, put it in the comments below. And if you want more content, then subscribe. Have a good day.